It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and we really are now at the very end of our Virgin Wines Beer Advent Calendar of 2022. It's been a fantastic experience, it really has. I've had some wonderful beers from it. Um, I didn't know what to expect because I've never ordered anything from Virgin Wines before. I thought it was a wine shop. They sell beer too. But I've thoroughly enjoyed it, I really have. Uh, we've had Belgian Wits, we've had IPAs, we've had Good Tasting Lagers, Pale Ales, IPAs. It's been really good. Beers from Belgium, Estonia, UK. Just really good selection of beers. Uh, number 23 then. Number 23. What do we have here? Oh, now we have a beer from Norway. This is from Lervig Acti Brewery and this is their house party. Session IPA. It's a 4% ABV, 330 milliliter silver can with, yeah, there's some fun going on in that house, isn't there? <laughs> um, all sorts going on there, blimey. I like Lervig. I really like Lervig. I think they're a fantastic Norwegian brewery. Um, one of, what, it was the first beer that I ever had from Norway was Lervig's Conrad Stout about 11 years ago and that was terrific apparently you can buy Lervig Conrad stout now in the supermarket how far have we come over the last 11 12 years with beer where I was having people from Sweden sending me Sweden Swedish and Norwegian beers to the channel here in the UK and now 11 years later I can wander off down to the supermarket and buy a Lervig Conrad stout Unbelievable. But anyway, let's get to this Lervig House Party Session IPA. It looks... Well, I've, I've, I have reviewed this beer. Um, it has been done. I think I've done it this year on the channel, actually. But it's such a good beer that I want to cover it again. I'm hoping door number 24, the last door of this box reveals a stout. You won't know that until tomorrow. There's door number 24. The only, oh, we had a Vienna Lager as well. That was the other thing. Um, but the only, I would say the only downside to a winter box is the absence of any stout or porter. And I think if Virgin Wines wanted to take any feedback from me for next year, then I think they should put a couple of stouts or porters in this box because people like to drink stout and porter this time of year, this cold winter time of year. It's a very popular, very, very, very popular style of beer is stout and porter. And there's loads out there. You won't have trouble finding them, Virgin Wines, trust me. We got a one finger white head. Uh, it's a hazy straw coloured beer with slow moving carbonation making its way up the side of the glass looks very good is there any sediment in the bottom no real sediment in the bottom of the glass let's get the aroma for a four percent abv beer this is punching way above its weight it's giving me a big mouth nose full of, of punch bowl fruits Loads of passion fruit, loads of mango, loads of grapefruit. Smells amazing. Now I'm looking across the way. I'm going to be very quick with this. I live in a, a terraced area, a big built up area of houses. The houses have been here 140 years old. There's literally houses all over the place. That way, that way, that way, that way. Somebody on one of the only sunny days in the winter so far, and it's builders across the road. They've lit a massive bonfire. They're literally gutting an old terraced house, all of its floorboards, its staircase and everything, and they're literally burning out in the garden. And there must be people with their washing on the lines, literally no more than 10 meters away. They must be absolutely fuming because this smoke is bellowing. This smoke is, it caught the side of my eye. I was like, whoa, what's that over there? I thought that's a bit much for a, um, you know, like a, a few flume thing off a, off a boiler. You know, you see them at this time of year, they're steaming away. That is absolutely 
tumbling up in the air. <laughs> some people, eh? Some people. Anyway, if you're watching, builders, hello. Um, smells amazing. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's always eventful when you're living around with loads of different people. There's always something going on. There's always someone doing something, you know? That is fantastic. 4% ABV, passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. The drinkability, because it's 4% ABV, is out of this world. Out of this world drinkability. Really refreshing, really lovely beer. Oh, so tropical. So tropical, even at this time of year, even in this cold winter's, winter's morning, I mean, I could drink a ton of this. Sunday afternoon, sit next to the fire, I could drink four or five pints of this, four or five cans of 330 millilitres. It's really delicious. I mean, look at the beer as I roll it round in the glass. Look at the conditioning, look at the quality of that beer. Really amazing. Now, Lurvig, so the story goes, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments box, they started out life years and years ago as a lager brewery. And they employed, and they were doing okay. They were doing okay as this lager brewery. They, they were doing pretty good. And they employed a brewer who was um, an American guy called Mike Murphy. And he had all sorts of kind of grand ideas on how to brew IPAs and, and pale ales and all of this kind of new world stuff. And he convinced them, he convinced Lervig in Norway to start brewing this, this, this tropical stuff, this, this fantastic IPA style beer. And the whole company took off. The whole company now are a completely different company from what they were uh, before Mike Murphy got involved. Now, I think that's the story. Please let me know in the comments box if I got anything wrong at all. If, say for argument's sake, Lurvig were looking to become an American style brewer, so look to employ an American brewer, then that might have been the story. But I think the story kind of, <clears throat> I don't think I'm too far wrong. If you're watching, Mike, cheers, mate. Merry Christmas. This is fantastic. I, I Honestly, I could drink an absolute gallon of this. It's so good. When I read a can, when I see 4% ABV, sometimes it leaves me with a little bit like, oh, you know, like, oh, it, it's going to be a bit weak. It's going to be a bit watery. Absolutely none of it. Absolutely none of it. The drinkability alone, the refreshingness, the hoppiness, the balance of the slight sweetness over here and the bitterness over here. It just all comes together to make a fantastic, fantastic beer. It really is delicious. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Oh. Still watching that bonfire. Back people like old ladies, women with their broomsticks, like rah, rah. Um, I'm gonna rate this, I'm gonna rate this. Great head retention, great lacing, great drink, fantastic drinkability. Lurvig's house party. If you haven't tried it, it's readily available now in the UK. And if you want something light, sessionable, drinkable, it's a great beer. It's a great beer. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. 10 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer, absolutely fantastic. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.